Let's jump in and check out our site settings. Click on site and then click on general settings. And here we're going to find a range of different settings. And I'm going to walk through each of these to get you confidently changing your settings to meet your personal requirements. So right up the front here, we've got our site address, but we'll get into that in just a moment. The website email address is where all notifications and contact forms will go and you can change this to be whatever you'd like. Down below that we have whether we'd like to show our phone number or not, whether we'd like to show our address, we can choose our own favicon. You've got unlimited storage space so you don't need to worry about all of that. And here's an interesting setting, if you've published your website but then you realise you need to make additional changes and you just want to hide it from the world, you can choose the under construction button. And if we choose that, turn it on and hit save, then people are just going to see under construction and the rest of the website won't be available. You can unpublish your website here if you need to and then down below that whether we're going to show the back button and of course the cookie notifications. So if you've got a cookie policy and it's probably a good idea to have one then you can pop in the URL and also have banner text associated with your website for that. Coming down our list now let's click into analytics and check it out. Of course when you've got a website it's good to know how it's performing and analytics is your at a glance dashboard where you can see exactly what's going on on your website, how many unique visitors, how many page views, what's the average time on site and how many pages on average per session. Now you can see I've only got a little bit of data here at the moment because of course I'm just using this site as a demo. But up here there are additional data sets like top pages which will show you which of your pages are the most popular and of course other pages which perhaps might need a tweak. We've got device traffic which will tell you about mobile users versus tablet users and of course people on a normal computer. Then we've got referrals and of course if you have any kind of marketing in place this is important data for you to know about so you know where people are coming from to find your website. And if they do happen to do searches within the search engine and query Google or any of their favourite search engines to find your website, those search engine queries are going to show up here. Now one of the most exciting things about using a bookmark website is the fact that you've got artificial intelligence through Ada on your side. So when people come and visit your website and interact with different pages and different content and different sections because Ada helped you build the site, Ada knows what's working and what's not and can compare data across all of the sites across the bookmark sphere so Ada can provide tailored suggestions to further optimize your website whether it's promoting certain pages to different positions in your menu or changing the sequence of sections on your page those suggestions will be made right here and you simply need to click to approve them and that will continuously optimize your website on the bookmark platform for the best outcomes based on your selections when you very first signed up your website. Whether those call to actions were that you get an email or a phone call or some sort of a sale action on your website, Ada will take all of that into account and always be optimizing in the background ready to offer up suggestions to help you succeed. Before your website goes live you're probably going to want to customise your domain and this is where you can do that. You of course get a special subdomain of the bookmark domain and you can change that if you wish to anything you'd like. Right now I've got fruit shop but maybe I want to change this to the pear and apple.bookmark.com and that is how I would do that. But if we scroll down here a little bit we can actually register our own domain and it's worth noting that when you upgrade to a paid subscription you get a free domain provided and free email addresses as well and these you can redeem via the token that's generated when you go through your upgrade and then once you come back to here there will be no charge. So from here we can actually select a domain for example and now we can actually choose to register that domain. On this next screen we can choose whether we would like one year, 
two year or even five year domain registration. And you can also choose to protect your personal information so you don't get spam bots and all sorts of crazy things coming through your email. To register the domain, all you need to do is fill out your contact information, your street address, and down below here, the domain name login info, which is slightly different to your bookmark info because they are separate registrations. If you're not sure or you've got any questions, be sure to refer to the detailed help guides that relate to domains in the Bookmark Help Center. But what if you've already got your own domain registered? Well, let's go back one step. And here, instead of registering a domain, you can actually connect your existing domain. So let's just pretend for argument's sake that we have the pair and apple.com and we want to connect that to bookmark. So now we select continue and here we can get instructions for a range of different hosts so that it steps you through very simply on what you need to do to make sure that your domain points to your bookmark website and people can find you by typing in your domain name. Once we've connected our domain, we can connect our emails. So let's click into email and you'll see just how easy that is. You can look professional with bookmark advanced email for just $2 per mailbox per month. Now, if you haven't already connected your domain at this point, bookmark will prompt you to do so. So once again, we select the parent apple and then here we can choose what email addresses we would like. Now, I will of course want my own email address, but if I'd like an additional email address for one of my staff, well, of course I can do that here. Maybe this one is going to be called orders. Now it's time to choose your password. A nice strong one using letters and numbers and a good way to do that is just to look around the room, choose three items at random and add your favorite date on the end. That way you've got a really super powerful password and you won't get people hacking into your email. One of the incredibly powerful features available in Bookmark is search engine optimization. It's built into every single page and your website as a whole. And it's very, very simple to optimize your website for search engines so that your shop can be found. So when we click into site SEO, this is where we can choose some options that are going to help search engines to know how to index your website. First of all, your site name, and you can choose whether it's going to be site name, menu name, or menu name and site name. We have, of course, got our site name here, Fruit Shop, and we probably want to change that to the pear and apple because everybody's got a fruit shop, but we need something a little bit more unique than that. In the site description down here, this is where you can put a short description of your store and maybe a little call to action Something like the pear and apple for quality fresh fruit and vegetables and offering ordering online. Click here to order yours today. The meta description are keywords relevant to your site that you want search engines to identify with. So we might put in fresh fruit, organic vegetables, those kinds of things. But for your website, it will be different. Directly below this, you can customize your 404 page. Now this is particularly relevant if you're moving your website from one platform to another and certain URLs no longer match. If that's the case, then when somebody clicks through from an old URL, they may not see that URL anymore and they may get a 404 error. So this is where you can actually explain, hey guys, that page has moved and now you can click here to visit our store or whatever text you wanna place in there. Next up, we have the footer code where you can place HTML code snippets commonly used to track analytics such as Google Analytics or maybe your Facebook pixel. And likewise, you can do the same thing with the header code. Bookmark also automatically creates and updates your sitemap for your website after you publish it. And if you'd like to, you can view that by clicking here. You could also upload a custom sitemap. These are of course advanced options. And if you'd like more information about these, all you need to do is click through to our help center and look up the detailed articles that walk you through exactly what these settings are all about. 
The last two settings in this section is the robot text file, which you can view also by clicking here. And you also have the ability to hide your website from search engines, which is effectively done by clicking on this button. Clicking on this button doesn't actually hide your website, but it does tell search engines that you're not ready to be indexed just yet. And that means if you happen to publish your website before you're completely ready to go live to the world, you can keep your web pages hidden away until you're ready for people to view them. The last section that we're going to go through under site settings is social media. And here you can actually connect all of your different social media in the one place. And then later using modules, you can drag and drop onto your website and actually have all of those settings reflected. You choose which platforms you'd like to promote and that way people can easily connect with you on the social media platforms where you're most active. And that's site settings in a nutshell. If you need any more help or you've got any more questions, be sure to check out the detailed help guides in our help center.